This is perfect. Do you believe this? Just because a guy is in a limo, he thinks he can park in my space. Well, I've got half a mind to break his antenna. Face it, honey. You're not capable of vandalism. Just do what you always do. Make a real bad thought, and then let's get to work. <laughs> if you don't think that I could cause some damage, huh? Well, watch me. Oh, yeah. Fix your face. That'll show him. <laughs> Sit on my... Well, officer, she's about six feet tall, very attractive, with uh, very bad penmanship. <laughs> In the fifth grade, I tried to sneak a turkey sandwich into a Sunday matinee of fame. There was a hole in the bag, and I left a trail of mayonnaise packets. <laughs> they stopped the movie right in the middle of Hot Lunch Jam and escorted me out. It was the most humiliating experience of my life until today. You can talk longer on one breath than any Gentile I know. <laughs> and the humiliation continues. Well, hello again. Look, I already apologized. You didn't have to go floor to floor. Well, slow down. I'm not looking for an apology. <laughs> okay, I can see what's coming. And <laughs> Let me say that uh, I'm flattered. Actually, I'm looking for Jack. I'm uh, flattered that you would be looking for Jack. Uh, he means so much to us. <laughs> he doesn't get many visitors. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, miss. I believe this mayonnaise packet is yours. <laughs> Coop? JR! Hey! So what are you doing here? Are you just visiting or are you gonna buy Northern California? No, oh, I'm thinking about it, but where would I keep it? You know, I've already got Oregon in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey everybody. Uh, this is Cooper Elliott, my college roommate, and interestingly, a former Miss Universe semifinalist. <laughs> I still say I was robbed. This is my staff, Luis, uh, Devlin, Troy, Susan. Actually, Susan and I have already met. I'm even familiar with her writing. <laughs> but uh, enough about me. Uh, you haven't met Todd. Ah, hey, how you doing? Good. Thanks. Well, I look forward to hearing any incriminating stories about Jack's misspent youth. Yeah, and uh, pictures would be much appreciated, especially with nudity, police, or projectile vomiting. Hey, I'm sorry, Todd, but Margot got the wedding pictures. <laughs> so how long are you in town for? Uh, just long enough to take your money, that is, if you can round up a poker game. Uh -huh. Or should I just take your wallet and save us both some time? Oh, baby. Oh. You're on. Gee, uh, poker game. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Indeed it does. <laughs> Forget it. Why? Because <laughs> I know what you make. <laughs> well, don't worry about us, Jack. We're big boys. Yeah. We play poker all the time. You're bluffing. No. -uh. <laughs> Boys, you're in. <laughs> I think I can scare up a few more bodies, too. Yeah, they got money? A little. Johnny Mac gets served an ace. Trump card for the Donald. This is why I don't play cards. <laughs> Mayor Brown finds a heart in San Francisco. A Jack for Jack. And Mr. T gets a two of diamonds. <clears throat> what? That's it? Two of diamond? Why didn't I get a funny pawn like everybody else? <laughs> How about two for T? It was staring you right in the face. <laughs> Yeah. Da pity the fool who gets a two. <laughs> That's not funny. That's old and hackneyed. And you stop trying to read my cards while looking in the reflection from my plate. I can't help myself. I'm a photographer and visually oriented. Tell him, Jack. I'm sorry, boys. I make it a point never to cross the T. Now that's funny. Give me some sugar. You know what that's it? We don't need this. Yeah, no, you're right. You know, we deserve my respect, eh? You're tapped out, huh? No, 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 no. no. I still have uh, 65 cents, eh? All right. Let's go share a Slurpee. Right up. <laughs> okay, guys. Missed deal. What? You cannot be serious. This is totally unacceptable. I finally had a good hand. Yeah. All right, Mr. McEnroe, this is a warning from the chair. I okay. threw the chair, okay? I had a full house. <laughs> Best hand of the night. Okay, boys, it's time to get serious. So let me tell you that uh, all the money that I win from you tonight is the first income I've gotten that's not been garnished by the Bank of Margot. I hope you have a good lawyer. <laughs> um, using coots. Hey, at least he's had a lot of practice. <laughs> How many times have you been married now? That would be three, Your Honor. <laughs> Every time he goes to Venice. I don't know what it is about that city. I meet a woman, I take her there, I end up married. 
All right, here's a tip. Don't go to Venice, okay? <laughs> Yeah, stay in San Francisco. Great parks, great museums, athletic team, and 30% fewer street mimes since I've been mayor. <laughs> it's to you, Donald. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hey, Donald, listen, it's 50 cents to open. Okay, here's a news flash. You're rich, all right? <laughs> and I didn't get rich by throwing away quarters. Oh. Oh. All right, okay, okay. Yeah. Not bad. A hundred bucks says you can't do that again. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Double or nothing. Can we play cards here? In a minute, T. I'll tell you what. You make this one. I'll give you my Porsche. Hey, guys. This isn't funny. Or legal. <laughs> you don't want to do that, Jack. Remember, I always win the big ones. That was then, baby. This is now. Good morning. Susan, Jeff, you look lovely. Well, I always look my best when I can just slip into my parking space. <laughs> Jack, my article is running long. I need more space. So take it. <laughs> Thanks. I wasn't really asking you, though. What should I do? Uh, like the man said, take more space. Are you sure? Or you could use smaller type. <laughs> Once again, thank you. Love the suit. <laughs> Jack. Whatever he says, it's his magazine now. What? I lost it to him last night. Now, the good news is I won't be needing your parking space anymore. <laughs> Pay to the order of Cooper Elliott, One Gate Magazine. Well, it can't be legal. It's written on a napkin. Well, I don't think that matters, Suze. It's witnessed by Donald Trump, who, in addition to being a brilliant businessman and multimillionaire, is also, I believe, the notary public. Hey, people, 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 calm down. I'm not planning on any sweeping changes, except maybe the name. I am thinking of calling it Arlene after my mom. Or maybe it should be Arlene, you know, with an exclamation point. No, that's too much, I think. Carry on. Or carry on. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I don't want to work for Arlene. Jack, he is not going to hold you to this, is he? It doesn't matter. I have never welched on a bet in my life, and I'm not about to start now, especially to him. So that's it? That's all you've got to say? I'm sorry. And in my father's absence, let me just say that I'm very disappointed in me. We need to talk. Great, how about dinner? Now. Well, I'm not really hungry right now. This is all a big joke to you, isn't it? I thought you were Jack's friend. You know what he sacrificed to get this magazine off the ground. Money, security, family. Those things might not be important to you, but they're real. And they've got value. Value that can't be measured in dollars or Deutschmarks or Kroger's or... No, wait, that's a grocery store in the Midwest. <laughs> You know what I mean. Look, I hate to interrupt you because you have got a wonderful head of steam going, but uh, you just hung up on Jack's machine. I was calling to tell him that the joke is over and give him his magazine back. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you don't believe me. Press redial. <laughs> Jack, Coop, I'm giving you your magazine back. And it's not just because I'm being strong-armed by one of your beautiful goons. <laughs> Call me. I believe you know the number. So you were going to give it back all along? Of course I was. Look, Susan, I know that I may come off kind of... Unbearable? I was going to say boyishly cute, but tomato, tomato. <laughs> the point is that uh, Jack and I have a history of trying to one-up each other, and this one went too far. I know how much this magazine means to him, and no matter what you may think of me, I would never take that away from him. I guess I misjudged you. Thanks. That's all you're gonna say? It was a pleasure working for you? No, no. I have invited you to dinner, and you still have an RSVP. That's very rude, you know. Does the limo have a TV in it? Big screen. Pick me up in time for Seinfeld. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? 
Hello. Jack! Oh, come on, man. There's a slight problem. Jack doesn't want the magazine back. Jack doesn't want us. Cooper doesn't want us. I feel like the dog at the pound with the bulging eye and the teeth outside its lips. Hopefully he gives hope that a family of blind people's gonna adopt me. I should have left you in the car with the window cracked. Well, I'm sorry, but the gate's the only job I've ever had. You said yourself Jack's the only boss that's ever been able to put up with you. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I can't even remember all the places I've been fired from. You got a lot of nerves showing your face in here. Well, I'm no good at interviews. I get nervous, and then I get tongue-tied. My English becomes incomprehensible. What? <laughs> don't mess with me. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of being at the mercy of someone else. I say, we start our own magazine. What are you, nuts? Why not? Between the three of us, we know what goes into running one. We put together a great presentation. We're going to have people throwing money at us in no time at all. Well, I like that. I guess it's worth a shot. Boys, this calls for a celebration. Uh -huh. Waitress, the dessert tray! You know where it is, get it yourself. Ah, oh, you're losing your touch. I expected you an hour ago. Don't push it, I'm angry enough with you as it is. What's with the suitcases? Well, I'm taking a trip, and this seemed more practical than wearing all my clothes at once. <laughs> you know, it's at times like these, I wonder why I care about you at all. And then I see how badly you pack, and I realize he must be simple. Susan, I made a bet, and I lost. Now, if you were a guy, you'd understand. Yeah, and if you had ovaries, you wouldn't be such an idiot. <laughs> Jack. We are not just talking about the magazine here. We're talking about the people who work there. What about your responsibility to us? What about my responsibility to myself? Susan, this is the first chance I've ever had in my life to be completely free. My marriage is over. The only thing keeping me here was the magazine. Now that's gone. And you can walk away just like that. Just like that. You know something? You're lying to yourself. What the hell do you know? I know you better than you think. Oh, do you? Yeah. I know that you're going to lose the thing you care about most because you don't have the courage to ask for it. Well, thanks. That's one more thing I can work out on the road. Great. And what a shame that if you ever finally do, there won't be anyone around who gives a damn. All we need for a good pitch is a broad overview and a lot of buzzwords, you know, like growth potential and market share and cha-ching! Right. <laughs> and most important, a catchy title, you know, something that jumps off the newsstand and then says, read me. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> Read me. I love it, I love it, I love it! We can't call a magazine, Read Me. <laughs> Why not? It sends a subliminal message. What's subliminal about it? It's totally liminal. You have no vision. We're pitching gold here. Okay, I'm working with morons, okay? Is that subliminal enough for you? It's a tremendous idea. So we need to decide. South America, Africa. I've already had malaria, so it's really your choice. Kate, do you think I'm making a mistake walking away from the magazine? <laughs> it's a business, Jack. It's not something to get emotional about. If you're looking for love, come on over here and invade Bavaria. Is that your answer to everything? A little boomsa? never complained before. Well, this is a first time for everything. Oh, oh, Jack, you're not gonna get serious. So tie us up. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to bore you with anything like a real emotion. Jack, who are you really angry with? I know it's not me. You don't care enough about me to be so upset. Okay, kids, make it fast. I've got a plane to catch. We've created a magazine that is snappy. Classy and judgy. Mr. Trump, we give you Scassy. Oh. <laughs> but it doesn't mean anything. Well, sure, not now, but once this baby hits the stands, it'll become part of the vernacular. Like time. Scassy. <laughs> it sounds like a skin condition. We could change it. Huh? To what, scabies?
Uh, Susan, I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry I had to cancel dinner last night. That's all right. It's not the first time Jack has ruined one of my dates. He makes me so angry. Sometimes he can be the most terrific guy, and other times he's the most bullheaded jerk I've ever met. You sound like every girl that ever liked him in college. <laughs> Please, me and Jack, I don't think so. So there was never any attraction between the two of you? No. Well, maybe. No. Can we, uh, can we change the subject, please? Yeah, uh, now that you mention it, I do have kind of a problem. Um, I need to go out of town on business, and I'm not sure what to do with the magazine. And there's only one thing I can think of here. Please tell me you're giving me this because I have schmutz on my face. <laughs> I'm giving you this because you are the one person around here who seems to care about this magazine the most. And I can't wait to see your first issue. Oh, no, no, Todd, no, 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 no. I'm not saying we can't have a puzzle page. I'm just saying we should have a magazine first. <laughs> and all I'm saying is everybody loves a jumble. <laughs> so, so what, what are you doing with a promissory napkin? I'm not sure, but... Um... I think I'm running the magazine. No! <laughs> you leave one guy at the altar, you get your own column. Another guy is in your parking space, you get the whole damn magazine? What's the matter with you? I'm the chosen people! Vicky, it's Wait not... a minute, that's it. You're too tall. You're blocking his view. I'm over here! I'm over here! But I don't want it. But I don't want it either, so we... Jack! Hi. Oh, look, Coop. I, um... I want my magazine back. Gee, Jack, as moving as that was, <laughs> you will have to talk to Susan. Why? Because it's her magazine. See? Napkin? <laughs> You gave the magazine to Susan? Well, Coop, I gotta hand it to you. You always had a sense of style. Ah, uh, Susan, the napkin, please. Uh-uh. <laughs> what do you mean, uh-uh? It's my magazine. Which you gambled away. And which you earned through diligence and hard work? But you're going out to explore life, remember? The great unknown, no responsibilities. By the way, Jack, I'm thinking of devoting my entire first issue to San Francisco as seen through the eyes of a kitty cat. <laughs> Look, Susan, you wanted me to come down here and take the magazine back, and that's what I'm doing, so why don't you cut the crap and hand me the napkin? Tell you what, why don't we flip bottle caps for it? Susan, what the hell do you want me to say? That everything that matters most to me in the world is right here? And that if I walked away, I would regret it for the rest of my life? There. I said it. And I meant it. Happy. Yes. By the way, I gave everybody a raise. <laughs> Did Trump notarize it? No. Then it's not valid. Oh! <laughs> Get back to work. What kind of magazine you think I'm running here? If I ever do anything as stupid as that, I certainly hope I have you on my side. Oh, you give me too much credit. No, from what I can see, I don't think you get nearly enough. You know, we never did get to have that dinner. So what do you say? I'd like that. Good. Do you like Italian? Do I? Forget about it. <laughs> I can't tell you how much it meant to me to know that through all this, you guys kept things going. Well, Jack, you know us. <laughs> We're nothing if not loyal. I just pray you would come. No, you people are more than loyal. You're... What's the word I'm looking for? Scassy. <laughs> you guys kill me. Susan. 
Thank you. You're welcome, Jack. Uh, what? I know I'm not the easiest person in the world. But you are very important here. And I appreciate you. Enough to give me a couple days off? <laughs> well, I was thinking more in terms of dinner, but... Uh... Jack! I must thank you for a most entertaining three days. Well, hey, that's part of the package. <laughs> Good to see you. Susan, are we on? Yeah, Jack's giving me the time off. What? Coop is taking me away for a long weekend. He is? Oh, don't worry, boss. It'll be separate rooms. Yeah, and I'll be back by Monday. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. Uh... uh, uh... Well, where are you guys going? Italy. <laughs> She's never been to Venice. Can you believe that? <laughs> Relax. We'll be at the airport in five minutes. <laughs> 